Hi, my name is Jim and welcome to preworkoutchallenge.com. This is my website where I review exercise supplements and home gym exercise equipment. So today we're talking about squat racks for the home. Um, this, uh, I say this really steps up your game because when you, um, you graduate from just benches and dumbbells, you can do uh, an entire set of um, all kinds of different exercises once you introduce yourself to a squat rack. Um, these things are versatile, versatile. You can add all kinds of attachments to it. Uh, it's kind of unlimited the amount of exercises that you can add to, um, to your program when you invest in a uh, home gym for, uh, excuse me, a uh, squat rack for your home gym. So I'm gonna go to my review and it's squat racks for the home gym. Step up your at-home workout game. So uh, anyway, these squat racks, are durable, they're long lasting, versatile, and can be used for tons more exercises than just squats, which is what I just said. But another thing is they're fairly inexpensive. You can get into one for a, a good, decent quality one that you can put attachments on um, eventually when, you, uh, you know, when you're ready for it for around $500. Uh, I don't recommend going much under that, but I will, um, go into that more. So what is a squat rack? Um, sounds like a stupid question for some, but this is a huge on Google, a lot of searches, a lot of people asking this question. So basically it's almost anything, it can be almost any kind of rack made for a gym uh, is what Wikipedia says. But the simplest form of squat rack is simply two vertical uprights support pillars attached to a stable base. So as you can imagine, this is basically it, except for these arms. Uh, a simple squat stand may not even have these, but it will at least have um, these uprights, the base, and then a hook on either side that is adjustable for the height. So um, here it is again, uh, biller, a base, two vertical pillars, and adjustable hooks. So that is a simple squat stand, squat rack, that's the one you'd be looking at for four or $500 up to sky's the limit. So the power rack is actually the most, um, it is the uh, most popular one. And I've got a picture of one all the way down here. Uh, there is, it's a cage, it's also called a power cage because you're, it's very safe. You'll have, usually these are bars, not straps, but you, you can't, you, know, you can't, if you fall or if you, your muscles give out, um, it'll, it'll hold you. So it's actually better than um, just having these, um, these standard arms like this. And the other thing is with these, with these power racks, it enables you to do all kinds of other exercises, obviously pull-ups, but this can be adjusted to do any other kind of um, uh, lat pulls, deadlifts. Uh, so anyway, that is the power rack. It has stable catch bars on either side of the cage to keep you, keep you from getting crushed. Uh, it is more expensive than a standard squat stand, but um, let's see, it's known. Uh, first thing you can tell is it's got four vertical support uh, pillars. And then also it has these horizontal bars that I just talked about to catch heavy lifting, or you can use them to rest the barbells on, uh, it's supposed to be dumbbells actually. Uh, during other exercises. Um, I had mentioned an exercise resistance band set. You can use these or a TRX to hook onto your rack to do a series of all kinds of other exercises that you can add to your routine. So half rack is in between a squat stand and a power rack. A half rack is just what it sounds like. It's half the size of a power rack, but you have a lot of the benefits. Uh, it's more, tends to be more stable usually comes with the arms that for those safety arms that you can rest or catch your barbell onto. Um, so that's what that is. And then the folding squat racks, I would think is the most popular one for a home gym. Uh, these racks, once you take this bar off, these racks simply, they fold in to be flat against the wall. They make these either attached to the wall or they do have ones that are not attached, which I wouldn't think are quite as stable. But these systems, that's really cool the way they, they work. Um, I think they, they put a lot of 
ingenuity into it. Uh, they're affordable, durable, and uh, also you can add, they're made, so you can add other options to these pillars. Uh, I had mentioned also, if, if you have a small home, home gym, you can add a folding weight bench and adjustable dumbbells. So if you, if you were to put a folding squat rack, folding weight bench, and adjustable dumbbells, all this stuff would go away into a very small area. You would have the entire rest of the room to use if you have a small exercise room. The, um, what to look for in these home gyms, or excuse me, in these squat racks for a home gym. The get one that's expandable and customizable. I mentioned you can put all kinds of attachments, which we will, um, I'll describe a little later. And um, so that's important that you can, so you don't outgrow your gym. You can always be adding things as you get the money or as you wanna try a different sort of workout program that you see on YouTube or what have you. The size is important. The full power rack is gonna be the largest one. So you need to have a probably a, an entire exercise room, a uh, home gym or a basement gym. The weight capacity is important, but most of the good ones, now I'm talking about the ones that start out around $500 or more, uh, the weight capacity is usually about a thousand pounds. I know you're never gonna be using that much or you probably won't be, but the thing is that amount of capacity is gonna give you a state, even if you're doing less weight, it's gonna give you a lot of stability. Uh, it's gonna be durable, it's gonna last longer. And also you gotta think about, um, you're gonna be adding the, the barbell, the plates, the attachments, so it's gonna be a lot heavier. You'll be using more weight than you think, uh, plus you'll get stronger as time goes along. Durability, uh, talk about the gauge number. Uh, 11 is the seems to be the sweet spot for a quality gym. Um, if you go up in the gauge number, it's less stable. So a 14 gauge I had mentioned is not as good as an 11 gauge. So it's opposite of what you would think. Uh, also, if you can find one that's powder coated, that's the strongest coating that won't scratch. Um, Otherwise, most of them come with it with a good commercial paint job. The price, I mentioned this a couple times, um, pay at least $400 or more. Don't get a $200 one. It's not gonna be stable. It could break. Uh, it's not as safe. Um, and it's not gonna hold its value in case you ever wanna trade up and, and uh, sell it. The warranty, most of them offer a one year. Some of them offer a, a, um, a 15 year or a lifetime. So it all depends. Uh, different attachments that you get for these racks are all over the place as far as their um, uh, as far as their warranty. But I mentioned Rogue Fitness Equipment and Dick's Sporting Goods. I've had really good luck with their customer service and with their warranties. Uh, here's a guy squatting a lot of weight, and I mentioned the attachments. This is what is one of the really cool things about these racks. Um, the power rack uh, because it's got all the pillars and uh, because of the size can hold the most amount of attachments, but a regular standard decent price squat rack will have these capabilities. Um, one of them that most any of them can either come with or you can add is a pull-up bar. Uh, they've got kipping bar, multi-grip bar, a knurled grip pull-up bar has all different kinds of attachments that you can use. Um, weight horns, uh, stabilizers, your lat row attachment, monolift arms. Um, also, you can add any kind of bench to those. And then the weight storage towers, which are pretty cool. Um, I don't know, usually what those are is they come out um, from these. There's about four of them and you can put, what you do is you put your plates on them. I think that's really important to keep a home gym compact. I really like that, uh, that one. I had mentioned also that the TRX set, you can add, you can hang these anywhere on this rack and get a lot of different exercises out. TRX sets are inexpensive. That's a good way to get more movements out of your home gym. Here I've got a link for some of these squat, uh, squat rack attachments from Rogue Fitness. And in conclusion, um, be sure if you're getting one, look for one that's expandable and customizable. Um, and uh, they're a great investment, they're durable, they're long lasting. Um, you, you can't, if you get a good one, you won't outgrow these because you can add all the weight you want and get detachments for any exercise that you want. 
So um, that's it. Hopefully I gave you some good information. I'm coming out with another review next about which one is the best home gym squat rack. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you for listening.